Hi, this is Mark Staples with Utah Avalanche Center. I'm in the Uintas today, just under 10,000 feet on a northeast facing slope. And what I'm finding mirrors what we're seeing in a lot of other places, uh, pretty much throughout the state. We had a weak layer that formed during January and February. We had a lot of dry snow avalanches on this layer. We've gone through an incredible warm up and we've had a fair number of wet snow avalanches on this layer. It's still here. It, it got a little bit damp and it has refrozen that has formed some bonds between those weak crystals. A, a week ago today, I couldn't even cut a column in some places. Uh, and as soon as I would isolate it, it would fail. Today I had to hit it 22 times before it broke across. Um, I think the Uintas and the Skyline air, uh, have some of the weakest places for this layer. The snowpack is going through a transition phase right now where it heats up and melts a little bit that will put liquid water in here. When it refreezes, this layer gains strength. The, the two main points are one, it's going through a transition phase, and two, um, this is pretty much gaining strength and will be going away and no longer be a problem soon. But I, I would be a little nervous with the next uh, dramatic warm up. It could be this weekend, it could be some other time after that. If we reintroduce liquid water to this layer, that will in the short term, make it a lot weaker as it gets wet. We could see some wet slab avalanches and through time it will gain strength and, and pretty soon no longer be an issue.